All right, Wayne Allyn with the great Bill O'Reilly, the king of cable news. Always an honor, pleasure to have him on the show. Hey, Bill, how are you? Good, Wayne. Thanks for having me back. All right, great to have you back. Um, let's talk about the border compromise. Trump won at five point seven billion. Um, we all know he needs twenty five billion. I thought he should ask for twenty five billion in the first place and maybe settled on five point seven. But he asked five seven. Now he's getting one point three five. What would you do if you were him? Because that's a mighty small, low number for a compromise. You know, it is. And and you hate to see the side that doesn't want uh, border security um, prosper. But I think that the good of the country signs the uh, spending bill, takes the one point three billion and then supplements it with discretionary funding that he's entitled to do. So I've been talking to uh, some people uh, close to the White House today, and they say that the moment after he signs the spending bill to keep the government open until September, uh, he's going to declare a state of emergency and then allocate the funds to build whatever parts of the barrier he wants to build. So that'll happen almost simultaneously, I have been told. Well, that's beyond good news, because as I said on my show last night, if he just takes the 1.35, I think he looks no. like a sucker, and yeah, I think a lot of Republicans abandon him. If he does if he does what you said, I think he's a hero, and I think that's a big, big win. So I think that would be great. Great move. You put me in a great mood, Bill. You just made my day. Thank you. Well, it, it comes from very reliable sources. Um, you know, anything had happened inside the Trump administration at any time, but I, I think that's what's likely to happen uh, at the end of this week or beginning of next. And I don't know if you know the answer to this one, but I'll ask you while I got you. Does that mean he'll take the $1.35 billion from Congress and then appropriate through a national security all the rest of the $25, million, uh, 25 billion? Or does that mean he's going to uh, appropriate gonna do, the rest of the yeah, 5.7? I don't think he's going to put a number on it. He's not going to put a number on it. He's going to say, I have a state of an emergency. I'm going to use discretionary funds um, where I see fit to uh, defend the southern border. I, I haven't been told he's going to put any number on it at all. Okay. I'm assuming it probably means he'll grab the rest of the 5.7, but not deal with the whole $25 billion yet. But we'll see. Um, how will this affect the 2020 election? I know it's still a long way off. We're all conjecturing it's what the media does, but yet we have to. You know, where do you think Trump stands? I think the fact that he's at 52% or so in the last week at Rasmussen is certainly a great sign. He's at the all-time highest approval rating since he became president, even after the government shut down and all the negative press and everything with the Russia collusion has to be a good sign for 220. So if he starts to get the wall money, should be in good shape, right? Yeah, but it is too early to prognosticate out because you don't know who he's going to be running against. You don't know whether anything else is going to surface, a la Robert Mueller, or I don't believe there's going to be anything serious come out of there. Um, but, you know, there are a number of things swirling around that are undefined. If the election were held next month in March, I think Trump would be hard to beat unless it were Michelle Obama running against him, which is conceivable. Um, I've been watching her pretty closely, and she likes all this attention. She liked having the bestseller. <laughs> she liked being on the Grammys. And I'm starting to say, you know what? This isn't the person that uh, she wanted us to think she was. He likes all this. She gets in, and I don't think Michelle Obama would ever campaign for it. She would be like the primaries would be, you know, Biden might get in, but there wouldn't be a clear front runner. And then Michelle Obama would be drafted. So she would be a formidable opponent for Donald Trump. The rest of the field, Biden's the strongest, as we've discussed on your program, Wayne. But um, I don't see any of the far left people beating Trump. That's so funny that uh, you and I have this little thing going, Bill, where I, I start to think of a question. You've already answered it. I was going to ask you out of the blue, what do you think of Michelle Obama? I keep hearing her name, and I just wonder, yeah. being that they don't have any other candidate, she might be the one, sadly. <laughs> I don't, by the way, what are her qualifications yeah, for president you don't need of the United States? I guess. <laughs> right, you know, you, of course look, not. <laughs> Donald, Trump, Donald Trump didn't have any qualifications other than being a builder and a television personality, and he got elected. Um, Michelle Obama can say, look, I was a first lady for eight years. I conferred with my husband on all kinds of things. He'll tell you that. I know how the government works. I know what the pressures are. But it doesn't matter. This is the uh, America of uh, 2019. 
People vote emotion. They vote on who they like, not who's going to do the best job. So if Michelle Obama gets in, that would be uh, very strong for the Democrats. All right. Uh, last but not least, new reports now say this never ends. House Democrats are planning a vast new probe into Trump-Russia collusion. We all know as of yesterday, the Senate Intelligence Committee cleared Trump. Democrats and Republicans agree there is no proof. I guess they didn't say he's innocent. They just said there's absolutely no way to prove anything happened. So for oh, all no intents and purposes, he was cleared. Evidence. No evidence. Um, yeah, evidence. Well, okay. Look, what if what it does comes all this mean, though? Is the American report, public going to put up with this? If it comes out from the Mueller report... If they say the same thing the Senate Intelligence Committee did, that there's no evidence of any Russian collusion and that House continues to do this stuff, that'll work against the Democratic Party. Then independent minded people will say, look, uh, we're tired of you. We're tired of this disrupting, disrupting the country. It's not helping my family, not helping me. So uh, Democrats will hurt themselves if they continue this stuff after Mueller and Horowitz, too, the DOJ inspector general. I, I mean, I'm where is that? And President Trump's in charge of that. He should tell us where that report is, the inspector general's report on the FBI corruption. Right. I'd like to see that. Correct. But anyway, uh, Democrats are not going to get anywhere by continuing a witch hunt when the witch hunt shows nothing untoward occurred. All right. We love his crystal ball. Good stuff. I've yet to find anything I substantially disagree with. Bill O'Reilly's a brilliant guy and a brilliant crystal ball. We like it. Bill, great to have you on, as always. And Thank you, Wayne. Always appreciate you sharing, sharing your wisdom with me. You just watched Newsmax TV, America's fastest growing news channel, now in 65 million homes. Get Newsmax TV on all the major cable systems or go to NewsmaxTV.com and click on the Find Newsmax tab to locate us. Remember, Newsmax TV, where real news for real people.